Hey guys, and welcome back to the World T. Robinsons. So today I'm coming at you with a word about Mommy. let the sunshine pour down on your life. So I really wanted to talk about this because I think it's just a very happy topic and we should be focusing on more positive thoughts, more positive things, so that way positivity can pour back into our lives. Yeah. So the whole purpose of this video is to pour positivity onto your life and also to pour positivity onto this channel and onto um, everything that you venture into for this year. Um, so if you want to receive this message, please like, share, comment, uh, just as the, uh, at least like and comment down below. Right, let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so... First, I want to show some of these beautiful quotes that I put on here just to uplift some people. So, it's so easy to be grateful for a flower, for a bug, and for a beautiful day. So, it is so grateful to find something small to be grateful for. You don't have to be super rich. You don't have to be, you know, um, even though that is what we aspire to. We do want to be rich. So, you know, we are moving towards that goal. But if you do not currently have that, you need to be grateful for something. Find something in your life. Be grateful that you can breathe. Be grateful that you can walk. There's some people that can't walk. Be grateful that, um, you know, that you have um, hair or that you um, are alive and breathing. You're not dead. Be, uh, be grateful for something. You always have something to be grateful for. And there's always somebody going through something worse than you do. There's always somebody that has that has it worse than you. So always have a grateful and humble heart with everything that you do. And be grateful for everything that you have currently because everything is going to come at its own time and everything is already done. So wherever you are now, that's where you just that's where you need to be right now. So whatever circumstance you're in right now, that's what the universe wants you to be right now. And whenever it's time for you to move up to another level. It's going to happen in its own time. So I love this quote because it's just reminding you to be grateful for the small things. Find everything, find joy in everything and be grateful for everything. Find sunshine in the darkness. So I may post, I mean, I may um, do the title as find sunshine in the darkness. I like, I like that title. Okay, so before I move on to the next one, I do want to let you guys know that uh, I will be posting another really, really, really good video tomorrow um, that I think that a lot of us need to hear. And it's a little touchy uh, topic, but it's going to be specifically talking about something that um, a lot of people need to talk about, even though we're kind of afraid to talk about it. Um, so if you go, if you really, really want to stay tuned for that, please don't please turn on your post notifications. Um, I try to post every single day as much as I can okay so moving on to the second quote that I just really really wanted to um share with you guys to uplift some of you you know um you can always come back to this channel to watch this again if you ever need any more encouragement if you ever need you know just motivation to get up if you ever need motivation just be thankful for the things that you have then you can always watch any channel any video on this channel and it would do that for you so don't let the shadows of yesterday spoil the sunshine that comes tomorrow. So I like this because a lot of times um, if something happened to you and, you know, it's just, it may not be to your favor, quote unquote. Remember that tomorrow is always a brand new day. It's a brand new day. And I know all of y'all have heard that Tomorrow 2 song by Cardi B and Gorilla. And it's actually a really good uplifting song when you think about it. Because it's talking about, you know, um, tomorrow could be better than, than yesterday. Basically is what it's saying. You know, um, that better things can come tomorrow. You can be rich tomorrow. You know, your dreams can come true tomorrow. So just push through to tomorrow. Don't kill yourself today when your blessing could be tomorrow. See what I'm saying? So that's why I, I really, really like this quote. Don't let the shadows of yesterday spoil the sunshine of tomorrow. So let all those things that happened to you, bury them in the past. <clears throat> let them go. 
get a clean slate after watch this video all the things all the bad things that have happened to you just let them wash away let them roll off your back like you know like a duck just don't even let it affect your heart don't let it change who you are don't let the bad things that people have done to you don't let the um sorrows that have been put on you um affect the sunshine that can be poured down on your life and you always have a better day tomorrow. So always allow the sunshine to come through. Always be grateful for the things that you have and always have an optimistic spirit. So that way you always see your glasses half full instead of half empty. Right? That's what we want to do. So live for today. Always stay in the present Remember that your current situation is not always going to be. You're always elevating. The decisions that you make today will benefit your future self. For example, me posting this video today currently will benefit me in the future because this is also going to be um, income for me. I'm claiming it right now. It's going to be income for my family. This video is going to blow up. I'm going to get a whole bunch of views on this channel. Even if it's two years from now, a year from now, these things are going to come to pass. So therefore, I'm planting the seeds today. So that way tomorrow I can reap the benefits. And it may not literally be as tomorrow, but when we say tomorrow, we, we refer to the future. So what you plant today in the future will then come to pass. It will then occur. So this is the third and last quote that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, just to bring some sunshine into your life. Worry doesn't take away tomorrow's troubles. It takes away today's peace. You see what I'm saying? So when you're wearing, when you're worrying about, you know, you're not having enough <clears throat> money. Um, oh, and I'm so sorry for that popping up on the screen. <laughs> um, I clicked it off immediately, but um, I pray that that child can be found. There was an Amber Alert. So you guys pray for that child. I pray that that child can be found and that the parents are safe and that the child is safe and that they can get their kid back. Okay, but moving on forward, um, so yeah, you guys could pray for that child as well, um, but okay, wearing doesn't take away tomorrow's troubles, it takes away today's peace. With that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I think that you guys should understand what that means, and if you don't, um, it just basically means that... Whenever you're wearing, whenever you're worrying about, um, you know, will you ever get a, a house or a backyard for your children? When you're worrying about, you know, whatever you, whatever situation you're in, it's not going to change anything. So it's better to just be happy. It's better to just like make lemonade with lemons, because if you focus on the lemons, it's not going to make anything better. It's just going to take away the peace it's gonna take away the joy it's gonna take away the happiness of that current moment that you could be feeling instead of worrying about you know what somebody did to you or worrying about um what somebody thinks about you like you shouldn't care about that you should only care about the betterment of yourself the betterment of your children the betterment of your husband or in the betterment of whoever you care about um but also the mo most important person is yourself because once you care about yourself everything else will fall into alignment and um, you should also care, you know, just more about being happy, you know, focus on the positive things, focus on the positive stuff in life, how whatever you can do to just be positive, because I know in these times, especially, you know, in the times that we live in, it's kind of like hard to be positive. I feel like it's just like so much false positivity, you know, fake positivity, fake, you know what I'm saying? It's just like fake, fake, fake that we really don't know what's real and what's fake anymore. It's just like, you know, we have all these influencers and stuff that portray to be someone on camera. And then, you know, when they're off camera, it's totally different. And so it's like, you don't really know what's real positivity and what's fake positivity, but that's what you have to find for yourself. You want to be a real positive person. Don't be a fake positive person. Don't act like you're happy, but inside you're sad. Just own those feelings. If you got to cry sometimes, go cry. Let all those emotions out, and then you will start to feel better. If you need to write it out, write it out. If you need to talk it out, you know, you can always talk to me. Um, if y'all do want to do um, consultations with me, anything like that in the future, um, then you have a voice. You know, leave a comment down below, and... 
we can maybe talk about that in the future and I can definitely start doing things like that because I definitely want you guys to know that you guys have someone to talk to. You have a friend that you have somebody that genuinely does care and I'm not going to have any judgment towards you. I'm not going to be um, rude or mean towards you at all. I, I'm completely all about love, completely all about positivity, completely all about moving on to the future and living a better life every day. And letting sunshine pour on into my life, my children's life, my husband's life. And so we can just have a great life, move forward, move out of the hood, you know, just get to the next level. And, you know, um, and I also just want to say that you guys want to make sure that you have um, all your things in order. Make sure that you're being productive as you can. Um, whatever you need to do for you, go ahead and do it so that way you can move to the next level. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. Um, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And God is going to bless you. The universe is going to bless you. Um, the universe is going to bless me. This is a time for prosperity. This is a time for being productive. This is a time for planting your seeds. This is a time for consistency. Even if you're not getting the benefits right now, keep on going because you're really you will reap the benefits in the future. We want our children to have a good life. We want our husbands to have a good life. We want to have a good life. So if you're a stay-at-home mother, pick up the camera, get some things going right now so that way a year from now, two years from now, you and your family can benefit from it. And you know, know where your life can be. Your life can change in the blink of an eye. You can go from being a nobody to somebody and like instantly. So you can always look forward to something. Always look forward to positive and productive things because that's the only thing that can come from it all right guys so we stay tuned for the next video love you guys bye